Have you ever wanted to play a game like Siege, but better? Well, I think I found the answer. Those of you that don't know what the Honest Opinion series is, it's basically me playing alphas or betas and telling you what I thought. So, a lot of you guys have asked me to talk about other games, and one such is uh, Ground Branch. It's a game that I had never heard of. The only thing that I really knew about it is that it was a tactical game, and that's about as much as I knew. So I thought that I would do the same thing like I did with Ready or Not and just ask the devs if I could actually talk about it. Here's the letter of what I said. Hello. Hi. I'm a YouTuber that covers a lot of tactical games, and then I post a link, just, just basically me jerking myself off. A lot of my subscribers have asked me to check it out, but before I wanted to say anything, I want to ask permission to cover it, and if you have any juicy information you want me to share, I'm all ears. And they got back to me in the same day, they said, uh, Hey, thanks for the interest. Feel free to cover the game and post anything you like. We are still in pre-early access, so there are some rough edges, and obviously a lot is still missing, but what's there is solid fun, and should give you a look into what we're going for. Here is the Steam key you can authorize to get the game. Whoa! Whoa, 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 I didn't ask for a Steam key. Okay, uh, thanks. Thanks, I... Alright. We still have some compatibility issues to work through, so if you have any trouble getting the game started, please let me know, and I'll get yours sorted as fast as I can. Blackfoot Studios. Oh wow. Well, I better get cracking. A work in progress. So like the dev said in the uh, email, bugs are just to be expected because it's, um, it's still very, very early. Like, I could literally, like, swivel my head around and, uh, my, bo my head wouldn't stay attached to my body or... Well, there would be some glitching and I mean it, it, it didn't ruin the game for me at all but it, it, there's just a bunch of like funny glitches in there I didn't run into anything that was like game breaking maybe there was like one where uh, where I had to like restart the game but that was during a loading screen which is like mm, not that big a deal so, so overall it wasn't that bad it, it, it didn't really uh, break the immersion for me or anything like that you know I was still having fun playing it how it felt the gameplay itself felt a lot like Arma. What I mean by that is basically like the movement and the mechanics. And also I can say that there was a lot of customization, so I guess they also took that aspect too. Which I welcome because, you know, I I've always wanted Rainbow Six Siege to have that level of customization. Because they've had that in like the previous Tom Clancy games. But this one has a lot of customization. Like you could use almost any gun that's actually in there. So basically what happens is that when you get into the multiplayer, you go into like this lobby area, I guess that's what it is. Where you have like a, like a shooting range, a... You have like a random place that you can start i don't think that there's a uh anything in the beginning like you, that's just like the starting area and then you walk over to like lockers it looks like and you, you lock you walk up to those lockers and you edit your character and you can put like any type of gear that you want on him and give him any gun that you want this is the level of customization that i wish that siege had but they didn't they gave us a moba the one game mode that I actually played in the game was uh, Terrorist Hunt, and it's essentially like the game mode that's in Rainbow Six Siege, except the AI can be really bullshit, just like <laughs> the AI in freaking Rainbow Six Siege. Um, they only aim for your torso or your head, so you have to be very careful. Um, the moment that you see them, you have to shoot them as fast as they can. If you miss for like a slight second, they'll instant kill you. You have to be very careful. The game felt clunky at times, but that's to be expected, especially when I tried to go on ladders. Uh, I literally told myself, note to self, don't go on ladders because I, I tried going down one and I just straight fell off. I was like, ah, uh, there was some glitches and stuff, but that's to be expected. The maps were pretty big. We ended up fighting at least 30 terrorists, but I, I think you could actually push more into a map. The engine itself is running on the Unreal 4 engine. Honestly, if that clunkiness gets addressed, I might actually add this to the list of things that I'll probably play because this actually feels like the proper siege game. Ready or not is a predecessor to the SWAT series, and this game will be the predecessor to the Siege series. <laughs> I actually ended up liking this game a lot. And this will be about the part of the video where I decide to stop doing a honest opinion, and it will just be nothing but gameplay. So, uh, thanks for watching this portion of the video, and we'll get into the gameplay. Oh, I'm gonna push back and you can go for uh, front of me. There's a dude off the head. Where is he? Did you... Is he... He's just behind left uh, side of the door. The door? Okay. Uh, since... Uh, in front of you. Front. Straight front. Yep. So don't move further, uh, further forward because you're going to get uh, a few of uh, AIs on your left. I think he's down. That's probably... Yeah, watch out. Left, left, left. Uh, 
yeah, also the concrete, you can shoot through it. Oh, well. At least they don't know I'm here. Yeah, that's true. They know I'm, I'm here. Keep shooting. That was me. Okay, second story. Two guys in the windows. One down. Oh, they're moving towards us. Hey guys. Hello, Brian. Ah, oh, shit. Where was he? Two left. Uh, on the other side of where you're standing. Fuck where? Yeah, there you go. Got one. Sweet. What? Ah. Oh. Down. Who's going for the stairs? It's friendly. For sure. I'm gonna go on and back him up. I guess we all are. Seems like it, yeah. You can see through the wall. What? You can see through the wall. That's a little bug, yeah. I'm getting in. Two down. Okay. I'm coming in the center courtyard from the north. So, so watch your fire, please. Yep. Watch out, watch out. Fuck. I'm with you. Copy. And we're off to see the wizard!
down. Had another one. I headshotted him. He's not dead yet. What? Yeah, down. Who's still standing? I am. How many bad guys are there? Four? Oh, uh, one less. Two. Okay. One left. What's it? Two. There's a mice. Yeah, I just killed one. Uh, what were you talking about? Yeah, it's a it's a two on my screen. Oh, there we go. Now it says one. They're all all uh, down. Damn. Nice. Oh, the only one. Fuck, there goes my clip. Shit. Shotgun is down. Fuck. Yeah, he's down. I almost shut my own guy. Sorry about that. One. We have any devs in here? Two thousand no? Yeah, that's a wall. Oh, oh no, that's two thousand. Yeah. Oh. Oh well. So who's still up? Except me. Uh, I'm I'm still up, but I really don't know where any bad guy could possibly be. Are you? Friendly, friendly, friendly. Don't scare me, okay? Friendly basement. Uh, do they usually spawn in the same spot? Not yeah, always. No, yeah. Not always, yeah. 
unless you set them at you know like fifty terrorists. Oh my god. Oh Note to self, don't use letters. <laughs> Revenge of the AI. <laughs> <laughs>